Numbers are important. They may not be to some, <clears throat> dolphins, but to most, your jersey number is like a badge you wear on your back. Some of these digits are way easier to rank than others, and some jersey numbers, well, no one deserves to come out on top. We're talking to you, number 18. So stick around as we give you the rundown on each jersey number and the best player currently wearing it. Number one, there is no debate for this one, and Cam Newton has agreed to a one-year deal with the Patriots. Theoretically, they have his number one jersey waiting for him, if he can fight Pat Patriot for it. Yes, Pat is the owner of jersey number one, but now that Newton is joining the ranks, the mascot is gonna have to get a makeover, which we're not complaining about since he's scary as hell. Number two, Matt Ryan. The Falcons quarterback has zero competition. Number three, Will Lutz. Just kidding, it's Russell Wilson. This top 10 quarterback has a four-year, $140 million contract extension with the Seahawks for a reason. Number four, Dak Prescott, Derek Carr, or Deshaun Watson? There's a fair bit of competition for this jersey number. Is it Dak Prescott? No, not him. Derek Carr? Nope. Despite demonstrating absolute skill under pressure, he doesn't have the numbers to back up this ranking. Sorry Raiders fans, if you're out there. Deshaun Watson? You better believe it. Despite being behind the worst offensive line, the Texans quarterback absolutely shined since he was drafted in the first round in 2017. He finished last season with a 67.3 completion percentage, 3,852 passing yards, 26 touchdown passes, 12 interceptions, a 98.0 passer rating, 413 rushing yards, and 7 touchdown runs. Number 5. Joe Flacco? Maybe if this was 2012. We're going with Matt Prater. Since 2015, the Lions kicker has made 86.7% of his field goals. Not only is he one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, but he also holds the NFL record for the longest field goal of 64 yards. Number 6. Sure, we could have given this to Baker Mayfield, Johnny Hecker, or Thomas Morstead, but we're giving this jersey to Brett Kern. The Tennessee Titans punter led the league last season in punts placed inside the 20-yard line with 37 and was named First Team All-Pro. Punters rarely ever get their recognition, but Titans fans know that Kern is their defense's best weapon. Number 7. Ben Roethlisberger or Dwayne Haskins? Well, Big Ben is 38, but his stats for 2018 show how much of a beast he is. 2019, not so much. But newcomer Dwayne Haskins didn't have a great 2019 either. Drafted by the Redskins in the first round of the 2019 draft, Haskins didn't live up to his college expectations on the NFL field. So we're giving this one to Roethlisberger, who had a fantastic 2018 season for a guy over 35. He led the league in passing yards, 5,129, for the second time in his career. Who was going to come out on top for the 2020 season for the number 7 jersey? Only time, and hopefully no injuries, will tell. Number 8. Lamar Jackson or Kirk Cousins? This might be controversial, but we're going with Kirk Cousins. The quarterback just signed a two-year contract extension with the Vikings this year because they know a top QB when they see one. Yes, we know Jackson had a better 2019 season, but Cousins has been around much longer and has had multiple amazing seasons. Maybe Jackson will take the ranking next year, who knows? Number 9. Until Drew Brees finally feels the effects of being 41, he will remain one of the league's best quarterbacks and the top player wearing number 9. Number 10. Deshaun Jackson, Tyreek Hill, or DeAndre Hopkins? Hopefully Jackson doesn't celebrate prematurely just yet, cause we're going with Hopkins even though this one is a little awkward considering Hopkins just got traded to the Cardinals. It's cool to hear meaningful stories about why some players chose their numbers. Hopkins wrote on Twitter saying, My big cousin from South Carolina did 10 years in jail for $600 worth of drugs. Let that sink in. That's the real reason I wear number 10, modern day. Number 11, Carson Wentz. Just kidding, we're going with Julio Jones. The amount of NFL records this top wide receiver has makes him an unstoppable force. Jones, who was named to his seventh Pro Bowl last season and was voted a second team All-Pro, finished the year with 1,394 yards and six touchdowns. He is the only player in NFL history to gain 1,400 receiving yards in five consecutive seasons, and he is the league's all-time leader in receiving yards per game. Who's Carson Wentz? Number 12, Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers? 
Are you kidding? There's no competition. It's Brady. 14 Pro Bowls, 6th Super Bowl championship win, star of living with yourself, number 13, Michael Thomas, Mike Evans, or Odell Beckham Jr. It's a close call. No, it's not. It's Michael Thomas. The Saints wide receiver holds the record for most catches in a player's first three seasons with 321. You don't just lead the league in receiving yards and break an NFL record for most receptions in a single season and not be the best receiver in the league. Thomas's catch rate has jumped to 82.5% over the past two years, making him the best option for number 13. Number 14, Stefan Diggs. The Buffalo Bills new addition has had a great career with the Vikings since 2015. With 102 catches for 1,021 yards and nine touchdowns in the 2018 season, we can't wait to see what this wide receiver brings to the Bills. Number 15, Patrick Mahomes. It's a no-brainer. Number 16, Jared Goff or Tyler Lockett. Lockett did have a career high last season with the Seahawks, finishing the 2019 season with 82 receptions for 1,057 receiving yards and eight receiving touchdowns. But Goff had a great season for his career too, with 4,638 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. So who is it going to be? We're giving this one to the underappreciated Lockett, who Russell Wilson should very much appreciate. Number 17, Devontae Adams, Phillip Rivers, or Emmanuel Sanders? Phillip Rivers? Well, he's not even a top 10 quarterback, so no. Let's see how he does with the Colts. Emmanuel Sanders? Despite paying Jalen Hurd to grab his college number of 17 when he was traded to the 49ers in 2019, he still isn't the best player to wear number 17. So this obviously goes to Devontae Adams, who in 2018 had one of the best wide receiver seasons in NFL history. Number 18, no one? Okay, AJ Green if he plays another season. Number 19, Kenny Galladay? Not likely. Adam Thielen? Well, not if Juju Smith-Schuster has anything to do with it. The Steelers wide receiver is only 23 and is the first player in NFL history to score five touchdowns before his 21st birthday. He's also the first player to have two offensive touchdowns of at least 97 yards. Number 20, Jalen Ramsey. Hey, with a last name like that, it makes sense to be wearing a Rams jersey. There's not much competition for this number. Frank Gore? No, thank you. We don't even know if he still has the number 20 jersey after just signing with the Jets. But even if he did, he wouldn't win this ranking anyway. Number 21, Twitch streamer or Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott just signed a six-year extension with the Cowboys worth $90 million with $50 million guaranteed. Elliott finished the 2019 season with 1,357 rushing yards and 12 rushing touchdowns to go along with 54 receptions for 420 receiving yards and two receiving touchdowns. The running back, who dabbles in Twitch streaming, caused a little controversy when he forgot to log off while he was live and stated he was faded. He maintains he just meant he had a few drinks, leaving more controversy as to what the term faded actually means. What do you guys think? Number 22, Christian McCaffrey, aka Run CMC, takes his NFL records and flies with number 22. Number 23, this goes to Kyle Fuller, who was drafted by the Bears in the first round of the 2014 NFL Draft. The cornerback ended the 2019 season with three interceptions and 12 pass breakups, with his 82 combined tackles being a career high. Number 24, Stephon Gilmore, well, he has some competition in Darius Slay, who was just traded to the Philadelphia Eagles, signing a three-year deal worth $50 million. Slay announced he will be wearing jersey number 24 in honor of Kobe Bryant, as Rodney McLeod already wears his old number 23. So who is it going to be for jersey 24? A case could be made for Nick Chubb, but no, we're giving this one to Gilmore, 2019's AP Defensive Player of the Year. Number 25, Richard Sherman? Melvin Gordon or Xavier Howard? None, it's Chris Harris Jr. In the 2019 season, Harris Jr. has been thrown at 644 times in 132 career games. And over that span, only 10 wide receivers have ever caught a touchdown pass against him. The former Broncos cornerback just signed a two-year $20 million contract with the Chargers. 
The four-time Pro Bowler and Super Bowl champion is a welcome addition on the Los Angeles team. Number 26, Le'Veon Bell or Saquon Barkley? Well, if you had to choose between the two, we all know anyone would go with Barkley. Number 27, Kareem Hunt? That's a no from us. We're giving this one to Malcolm Jenkins. The veteran safety has yet to miss a game since joining the Eagles in 2014. He had a great 2018 producing 97 tackles, a sack, an interception, and three forced fumbles. And now it's official. Jenkins signed a four-year, $32 million contract to return to the New Orleans Saints, who originally drafted him in the first round back in 2009. Number 28, Joe Mixon, Josh Jacobs, or James White? Um, we guess Joe Mixon? The Bengals running back doesn't make a strong case for top anything, but since the competition is lacking here, we'll give it to him. Number 29, Earl Thomas or Xavier Rhodes? We're actually giving this to Tariq Cohen, the cornerback who has just been traded to the Colts, had a great 2018 season with the Bears, finishing with 444 rushing yards and three touchdowns, and had a not so bad 2019 season, finishing with 79 receptions for 456 receiving yards and three receiving touchdowns. Number 30, Philip Lindsay or Todd Gurley? Knee problems aside, no, we're giving this to Lindsay who in the Broncos season finale against the Raiders surpassed 1,000 yards rushing to become the first undrafted player in league history to do so in two consecutive seasons. Lindsay has recently taken to social media to subtweet his disdain at ex-Chargers running back Melvin Gordon scoring a $16 million two-year deal. Judging by his Instagram story, Lindsay is fired up to prove to the Broncos that the money should have been invested into him and we can't wait to see it. We're just gonna skip right to number 87 and say, sorry, Travis Kelsey, but we're giving this back to Rob Gronkowski. Sorry to all the other numbers, you don't count. Just kidding, there's just too many of you. Don't forget to subscribe and let us know what other important numbers we missed.